The Nigeria police has condemned an attack on its facilities in Edo State on Monday. In a statement on its official Twitter handle, the force announced that Ubekun Police Station, Oba Market Police Station and Edobo Police Post were attacked by persons posing as NSAS protesters. The tweets added that protesters carted away arms and ammunition from the armory and freed suspects in custody before setting some of the facilities ablaze. The force said it is doing everything possible to bring the situation under control, to protect lives of innocent citizens and prevent further attacks on any other critical infrastructure in Edo. The police also called on parents and guardians to persuade their children and wards to stop carrying out acts of violence. And joining us live to discuss this is the Special <coughs> Advisor Media to the Edo State uh, Deputy Governor. Thanks for joining us. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm with you. Our first, with you. All right. Um, tell us, uh, what can you tell us about the jailbreak in Benin City? How many <laughs> prisoners escaped and how many have you rearrested? And how would you say this attack was coordinated in the state? Uh, it's um, rather unfortunate that the hoodlums have hijacked uh, the peaceful protest embarked upon by uh, the uh, NSAS uh, uh, organizers. They allow the hoodlums to hijack it from them. They set up these three police stations, like rightly said, and then the, minim, uh, the medium correctional center on Sapley Road was equally attacked. Some inmates have been freed but as I speak, we cannot say exactly how many of them have escaped and how many uh, that have been uh, rearrested. Because I believe it's rather too early to assess that. But the government officials and the security agencies are working around the clock to make sure the situation is brought under control. But I believe by this time tomorrow, we'll be able to place a figure on how many have escaped and those who have on their own return to the facility or it's been rearrested. Like I said, as I speak, we cannot specific on that. Now, if you, I mean, the trend on social media and the concern of many Nigerians is uh, about the irony, so to speak, of how a center, you know, that is meant to, you know, protect people came under such an attack. What would you say was, is responsible uh, for this? And how do you think this, uh, this happened? I, 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 I believe the police uh, in these uh, stations, we're just being cautious because nobody wants to be caught martial. Nobody wants to face other the room trial because uh, there are reports from their superiors that uh, they should not shoot at protesters. They should not. They should be civil in handling the protesters. But these are not protesters. They are criminals, hoodlums. They should have been handled the way you handle. Uh, criminals, but put the police, like I rightly said, they are just being cautious by allowing them to attack and gain entrance into their facilities, attack um, the uniformed and armed men on guard, took over the whole place, and uh, and then uh, broke into their armory. Like they are just being cautious. Ordinarily, that wouldn't have been happening easily in normal situation, but I know these are not protectors. These are mere criminals, hardened criminals that did that. Apparently, with the aim of freeing their own, uh, their own uh, 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 co-criminals who have been arrested in, and kept in these facilities, pending when they appear in court. All right. Now, the Edo State government, uh, sorry to cut in, but the government has, has now announced a 24-hour curfew, you know, after this attack. Do you think this curfew is feasible? And uh, would you say the security officials in Edo are equipped at the moment to ensure compliance? Yes, they are always been equipped. The policemen are up to the task. It's your directive from above that has kept them away. That was why they have not been able to go and do their normal duties. Before now, they abandoned the entire streets. They, they kept to their station. None of them, you see, none of them on normal roadblocks. I can't see any policeman uniform anywhere. Out of fear for their lives. And then they they, they, they died by the their, their superior, but the way it is now, it, it has gone beyond the normal protest. The the curfew is taking place. If you go to the street right now, the street are virtually empty. You see policemen out there trying to enforce it, and I know that the 
protesters, the normal protesters, will not risk it and confront uh, armed uh, policemen. But it's just the criminals who want to confront them because they are up to something. It's just what they, what they are doing is beyond the normal protest. But I believe everything uh, is coming to normalcy with the government's uh, directive. And uh, jailbreaks have seemed to become quite frequent in the country. What steps would you say the force take to prevent a recurrence in future? Yeah, uh, uh, it's the same thing the protesters, part of the demands of the protesters, that uh, our armed men, especially the policemen, uh, the, uh, the, um, those uh, manning these uh, correctional facilities, they are not taken care of. There, 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 is, there is no proper care for them out of frustration a man who is armed expect to guard these facilities we see normal jail break they will look the other way because it had been on this is not the first time they are superior the money budgeted for these facilities and the care of this man are, are being uh, appropriated by the officers by their superior and they don't say they dare not say anything they, they will take it to be for the nation so i think it, it has to be attacked from the top from the top, you know what happened in a, in a, in a, in a Bonu, where money meant for arms, equipment, for soldiers, are being diverted by the officers. Huh? So it, it's just the whole of protesting, say, okay, let me do it that way, why they attack the facilities. Let them, is, is a fundamental issue which government has to look into. The money meant for people, they make sure it gets to them. The monument for equipment, make sure it goes for equipment. Not that somebody saw what pot bellied officers we appropriate the money and nobody dare ask any question. This All right. The so basic, basically, protesters. you're saying, you're alleging that the jailbreak in Benin City is an inside job. No, 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 no. This one is something else. Uh, you talk about what we can do to correct a similar jailbreak and it has been a, a common occurrence in Nigeria. That's what you said. That was your question. The one in Benin was purely done by criminals, purely done by hoodlums, not normal protesters. And the number with which they attack that facilities is not the one where, the, if you look at the video, where any uh, uh, officer will be able to uh, curtail. All right, thank you so much, Musa, for your thoughts. You are welcome, my sister. You're welcome.